When was a fuck it I'll do it myself moment for you? 1. At the start of the pandemic I had a cyst growing in my hand, it was so painful I couldn't lower my hand below my chest or it would be agony. However because I'm extremely vulnerable, I wasn't able to go to the hospital as the local was on lockdown and completely overflowing with COVID cases. I was just given antibiotics that did nothing. So one night I'd finally had enough, I'd already had 6 removed in the last year so knew what the deal was, I woke up at 2am an unspeakable amount of pain, said fuck it, and dug the thing out myself with some sterilized tweezers, a surgical knife and a shitload of kitchen towels to mop up the blood. Did it while watching Wrestlemania cause it was the only thing on at 2am. The next day I called my doctor because I now had a perfectly circular hole in my hand but it wasn't deep enough for stitches, just advised I patch myself up with some plasters and he sent some more specific antibiotics to my house. He mentioned the cut looked pretty well done and the cyst was entirely removed, so I thought that was pretty cool. 3 out of 10, just for being able to say I operated on myself and didn't cause any further complications. 2. Literally any group project I have ever done in school. 3. I bought a house recently and the previous owners didn't leave the mailbox key. I had a million other things to do, so I figured I'd call a locksmith and let them deal with it. After getting messed with by three different guys who refused to even give me a ballpark on cost, I said fuck it and drilled into the lock myself and replaced it. Got the job done for $30. New lock buoy a wrench I had to buy, instead of probably $200. 4. Every time I asked my ex to do something while I was at work, like the dishes or taking out the garbage. I'd still have to do them when I got home after 12 hours. 5. I had an appointment at the dentist to have a rotten tooth removed. I turned up talked to the dentist, she numbed me up with a local anesthetic and set to with her pliers. She yanked, and pulled, and yanked some more. Nothing happened. It's worth mentioning that she was very small, maybe 5 foot 1. She said she would see if she could find a stronger colleague. No problem, said I let me have a go. Er, okay. So she put the pliers back on my tooth and I mumbled and drooled. Are you absolutely sure it's the right one? Yes, she said. So I carefully took hold of the pliers as she released her grip on them, she had another peek in my mouth to ensure they were gripping the correct tooth and nodded. I pulled like hell and my tooth came out. She even gave me a 10% discount off my bill.